Hey everyone and welcome to this Jet Elements tutorial. In this video, we'll be having a look at how to add a subscribe form to your page with the help of Jet Elements plugin. So with Jet Elements subscribe widget, you'll be able to create similar subscribe forms. So you probably will need your subscribe form to be connected to such a plugin as MailChimp. All you need to do now is to go to Elementor and navigate to Jet Elements settings. Here in the list, find Mailing List Manager. Here you'll have to insert your MailChimp API key and the MailChimp list ID, if you need, enable the double opt-in option. Then simply click Save. And now you can go to your page and start creating your subscribe form with Elementor. So let's go to the Elements panel and search for the subscribe widget. This is how it looks. Drop it onto a new section. So here is your email form. What you can do now is to go and have a look at the settings and style your subscribe form. First off, you set the placeholder text, which will be here, and you put the text that will be visible on a button right there. If you need any additional fields, just enable the Use Additional Fields option and you'll be able to add the type of the field and the placeholder for the field. Then in the Settings tab, you can enable Use Redirect URL and Use Target List ID options. In the Style tab, you can completely change the look of your subscribe form. First, you can change the layout and set the width of the block itself. So here, set the pattern margin border radius, the background color for the entire block. Here, change the look of the input field. And you can also manage its look on states like on normal, focus, and on error. So. Here are the settings for the submit button, like whether or not you want to add an icon, what width you want it to be, where you want to align it. Here are also the settings for the states, like normal and hover. And here go the settings for the message, meaning how the message will be displayed and how it is going to look. So you can set the style settings for different types of messages, success and error messages. So this was a quick overview on how to set up the subscribe form and style it with Elementor with the help of JetElements plugin. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.